Hello, people at home. Welcome back to this channel. I, before I, I, I say what I want, what I have for you today, I just want to say this: that there's some uh, technical difficulties that are going here on the side, based on the channel, but it's been taken care of. And today, I want to speak to you about something that's so profound that we have, and it can be used as a close. And this is a short word of amen and this is an amen it is it is an abrahamic declaration and affirmation which is first found in the hebrew bible and this word can also be used as a hymn you know it, it's used as a word it's used as a i would say peace you know peace it's it's let it be done you know and uh it's also found, it's found in the Bible and in, in Psalms it's used five times in the Torah is used 30 times. You may find it all through the Bible as well as it uses as, as well as in Revelations. And this word means let it be done or let it be, you know. So I find that most time while studying in the word, even in prayer though, it is used at the end of prayer. But I find amen in each and everything that we do, especially if we want, we do it in the praise of of God, of Jesus Christ. We know about, when I speak about God, which God I mean based on this channel. And um, the, 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 the God that I mean is, is the one that is from the Bible who is the Spirit. But the word Amen, that's not what I want to tell you today about the word, this word Amen. I find it Amen in each and everything that we do. Because in prayer, it says, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in, it, as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven that's an amen for me so that means which is in the right it is a positive word as well amen now that that is so very profound now uh, i know in other people other people have said um maybe this word is catholics who uh found out this word and said let this word be done catholics also say amen also say amen and praise you know they do most of the things but uh the fact that it's in the bible we must not uh take it aside and say that it is not um it is not well for anyone to use because we think that religiously it comes from there. Most of the people of what we heard is said that prayer is only said and without an amen, but amen was put at the end of times. I've also heard people who say that, but amen means just that let it be done or let it be, it, let, let it be, let it be, let it be or let it be done. It is uh, so as it's said in in all of the, the facets of the Bible that we have and in the fact that the Bible is mentioned at the end of um, the end of, 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 of a prayer doesn't mean that it's least it's not least it is as important as used as a close and a very important close as we do um, and will amen will your prayer be accepted when you say when you don't say amen will it be accepted by god when you don't say amen uh, you know is it only accepted when you say amen you know that's a very tricky question amen is let it be done you know that means you close your prayer when you pray and you don't close your prayer that means you still pray so um it is what you do after that's recorded you know in your prayer so everything has a close everything has a beginning and everything has an end and this is the end of it amen is success and it shows faith not hope you know it shows faith that you really 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 have faith that you're going to get that which um you have prayed for and that which that you have said you are going to get it uh, you know it's the word of faith it's the word of hope and now we see it's that, that uh, and uh, is, is is as amen is the the the, the, the 
the last word in prayer is it the last word in the bible no the last word in the bible is uh, it is finished and in translation there's there's only uh, uh, this is a this this one word has it has a translation which is um, stay or totally stay you know but that's not what i wanted to focus on and this is what we mean on amen now um on the basis of things i i i i, I there's something that I heard in what has been said in the Bible, um, or what not actually in the Bible. We take what is said in the Bible and and we take it out in 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 the lives that we have right now. And now um, it seems as if now church has been used as a ritual. I I have heard people say Jesus and. We miss we misuse most of the things. Amen. Jesus, Yeshua, Hallelujah. You know, so, so much, so many things are used, are used and this and 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 really much misused. Yeah. All those things mean Christians. All those, all those words is Christian based. They they are Christian. Yeah. You know, Jesus is not different from Yeshua. It's the same Jesus, you know, and Jesus is not a person who lives now, who is existing now as we are existing. We don't have, we don't have a Jesus now. Jesus went to heaven. We believe that Jesus Christ reigned over uh, the devil, right? So, amen, hallelujah, Jesus, Yeshua, people using that. And most of the time in my experience, people have said that Yeshua and hallelujah usually actually um, praises Satan. It doesn't, you know, and there are some people who think they are gods here who come on earth, you know, you know, so, so who think they are gods who come on earth. And when you say, when you speak about God, they feel so happy. They want to walk life through a person telling them about the devil. They don't know that they're in the second kingdom of hell. They're telling them about the second kingdom of hell. These people, you know, even hell, they study the Bible in order to have tricks. So um, I took out that information based on the fake, the false, the falseness that is used about amen and hallelujah. You know, it is not different. It is one church it is one thing it is one church you know it means it is only jesus christ it is only in the bible and the gospel that we said that not in other traditional ways because tradition seems to enter in um tradition seems to enter in the church nowadays so we don't want that as people you know we want what is the gospel to be the gospel and what is tradition to be set aside from 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 from, from us you know so Amen, as positive as it is, and as positive as we make our prayer, I believe that in our prayer we say things that we want to accomplish and we want to be done. Thank you very much, and see you next time.